This is a 2014 Samsung UN46H5203 46 inch television. Between the 32 inch and the 50 inch, these were some of the most popular televisions in people's homes today. And the reason that you're probably watching this video is because your TV is doing the same thing this one is. Absolutely nothing. I'll show you. We'll plug it in. As you can see, there's a red flashing light on the bottom. At least. But still, no picture. So today, we're going to find out what the problem is. And I'm going to show you how to fix it. I just dug the moral TV, man. <laughs> man, you just dug the moral on television, bro. Okay, so we've got our television on the table here. We've got it on his face and we're going to remove the back covers. Um, first thing I'm going to remove is this cover right here. Uh, this is the back cover that gets you, gives you access to the main board and the power supply board with the LEDs on it. So I can just double check the LEDs before I actually take the rest of the TV, the rest of the back cover off. Okay, so this is the back of the TV, the back cover's off. And so I'm going to go to right here to this plug. This is the plug for our LEDs and I'm going to check it. Um, I believe that plug reads from outside to in, the two outer ones, uh, the second and the seventh one, and the third and fifth, something like that. Um, so, I believe this one, like that, okay, the second line would be, this is black, that should be positive. You can look at your legend, but I believe sometimes that's incorrect on these TVs, um, I have noticed that. They give you a D minus, S minus, D plus, S minus. I don't know what all that's supposed to mean, like that. And then the third line with the negative on the black wire, and so on and so on. So, I'm actually going to go to my outer plug. Okay, the two ones on the out, the two uh, wires on the outside of the plug. Okay, I'm getting nothing there. Okay. Uh, the next two, I'm going to pass it on the gray wire, that one there, there's nothing, and then the last one on the inside, I believe, and you can see I'm getting five or seven volts, and I do see some sort of backlight um, trying to come up through the TV can't see it because it's too much light but that, if it's five volts that means that you got some serious LEDs that are shorted okay on there so I'm just gonna double check this and make sure there's even some voltage coming up here so I'm gonna grab my meter I'm gonna ground a negative lead somewhere metal on the chassis like right here or I'm gonna go right here on the other one clip there, little metal right there. Okay, put my meter on DC volts. And I'm gonna go to the first one, which is a blue wire. Plug it in. The TV should automatically power on. I plug in. And I got 260 volts on that one. The one next to it will probably return that is open. Okay. Plug it 
plug it. I'm trying to plug it one more time here. So I'll get this thing on the bottom wire. Okay, that did come up to, I don't know, load or something. But I still have 281 volts on that particular wire. Okay, that lets me know that uh, we do have some type of voltage coming in. And I'm just going to check this diode right here. That should be coming from the diode right there. Okay, you can't see it behind this heat sink here. Okay, so I'm pretty sure we have a backlight problem from the reading that we were getting across the LEDs and the reading they were getting on the LED driver circuit um, that it is trying to come up. I did also check the backlight on signal coming from the main board, the power supply. Uh, that is good. Okay, so now I'm going to do is take the, I'm going to go ahead and uh, just go ahead and access the LEDs. Believe it or not, this one is fairly easy. I'm going to take off the stand right here, of course. And I always do this first to show you guys uh, something that's very important when you are doing these TVs. I'm going to pull this off and make sure that you get the four screws that are up under the stand. Because smaller ones because that's what actually supports the stand on the TV the screws which I screwed into the I believe the heat the heat, the heat shield for the T-Con board okay there's a little bracket around the T-Con board and then just unscrew all the other ones and then this is very important also because I believe on the smaller sets uh, I believe the First, I'm gonna unplug the speakers and I'm first, and then I'm gonna plug. That's great. Okay, this one here. This one here, because this is, um, I believe, uh, for the power button, which is right down here below, and also for your Wi Fi module. Okay. Um, yeah, you can see this does have internet. So this is a smart television, okay, and I believe the Wi-Fi module is on, on, located on the back cover. So when I go to pull the back cover up, I don't accidentally yank the wire. And what I'll do with those smaller screws for the stand, I actually put the smaller screws with the stand screws. The smaller screws are actually what goes behind the stand to support the stand. Should be four and four. Then when I go when I go to put this when I go to put the stand on, um, then I won't forget to put these back in there. It probably won't make much difference on like a set that small, but like a 55 or a 60 inch of the same TV, uh, you definitely want to put these screws back in. Uh, I know I say that in every video when I do one of these televisions, but I pick people's houses and the TV looks like it's going to fall over. And I asked the customer, well, why is your TV, what was what happened with the stand? And they say, oh, well, it was ever since the last guy I worked on it a few years ago, uh, it's been like that. That's because they forgot to put these screws back in there. Okay, uh, just like I said, um, this plug here goes to the Wi-Fi module actually on the other side of that speaker. Uh, that's where this wire is going. But this actual wire is going to the toggle switch uh, for the power supply button up under there. A lot of people don't even know when they have this TV is the actual button is up under here and it's a toggle switch you press it once turn it on and then you press it again there's going to be a menu that pops up and you can you know toggle to which option that you want or turn the power off and just hit it again but actually this one's pretty easy to come out it's kind of tricky when you first get it but actually two clips here and here you can actually see them and just squeeze those and it comes right out okay that's it and when you're putting it back very easy come in from the bottom not the top the bottom place the front 
where the light is right here. Place that in the TV. Okay, so it's showing through the front. And then just push it up. Okay, so the very next thing I'm gonna do, since I unplugged my speakers, I'm just gonna go ahead and remove the speakers out of the TV. So that way when we turn the TV set around to pull the bezel and the screen off and the, uh, the assembly, uh, these won't be falling off and falling around because they're obviously not screwed in. They're just some little holes right here that just slide right on there. And this is very important also is just go ahead. I, I'm gonna put my power button back in because I may need that to uh, turn it on. And I don't want it dangling around in the way. I'm gonna plug that back in. Only goes in one way. Okay, so I can just leave that off to the side. I want to flip the TV around. Okay, and um, is unplug this wire here. This is the LDBS cable or ribbon connector that's going from the main board to the TCOM board, which is located right here. Okay, um, I'm just going to unplug that, unclip it, pull it out. Make sure you clip it back. Okay, so we don't want any bolts coming through here. We go to test fire the TV up before we reassemble the entire TV. Uh, we also want to test fire it up, uh, you know, especially after we place in LEDs and make sure they even come on uh, before we put it back together. And what's going to happen is we still have this plug in. Once the TV comes on, it's going to send voltage to the TCOM board. And what's going to happen is we have these wires going from the TCOM going to the drivers. We have those unplugged, and this metal touches the frame. Um, gonna blow off the T-Con board and or the main board. I'm just gonna take them, take it down like right here. Okay, so that can't touch anything. And then this is the Wi-Fi module here, which is that long, it's not in the way, screw it in. Okay, and we'll also just go ahead and unplug these down here because that's connected to the screen. We don't want to yank those. And I'm just going to take this outer bezel off. You can actually see the little crease in there, right there. And I'm gonna flip, I'm gonna flip the TV over on this back first and then proceed to take that off. And it should come off very easy. Just need something like small, like a little prior tool. Um, Something like this that's small and uh, just start prying around it and just and this will should slide right up. Okay, so we got our front bezel off. Now just keep in mind, uh, there's some little tabs here and on the side of the TV. So when you go to remove that outer bezel and you stick something up under there, uh, make sure it's not a knife or anything that can actually cut this. Because if you cut or damage one of these, a guy just left me a comment on, on uh, right on one of my videos about he had actually bent this too far. Yeah, yeah, you're gonna have lines in the picture because these actually have little circuits in them. Uh, just like the, just like the driver boards on the bottom of the TV, uh, but as long as you're kind of careful and uh, you do something that's not like extra sharp, you should be okay. Uh, that bezel comes off pretty easy. Just you actually find the little snaps up under there. You feel for them and you just pop them up, and that's it. But after we do that, um, the first thing we're gonna do is turn around. Not try to remove the screen yet. Okay, is turn it around toward the actual driver boards okay this is what the, these are what the TCOM board uh, plugs into two driver boards one left side one right side we're actually going to unloosen that right okay and it's pretty easy um, comes down and up I believe and this one also I think push it up flip it out so it's out of the bottom grooves, kind of down, and just pull it back down, and that goes up. And what you want to do with those piece of tape, 
You can use electric, electrical tape, tape if you like. Fold them over carefully. Make sure that you do not break these, crisp these wires or anything like that. Okay, and just tape it to the just tape it to the screen. That's that's it. One piece of tape should do it. It's only a 46 inch screen. Do it like that. And the reason that we are doing that is because we do not want them to get snagged or get caught on something, like the edge get caught, gets caught on something um, when, we, when, we, when we remove the screen. As you can see, they do have tiny circuits in each one. Those are actual, those are actual ICs in those, those black things right there in the middle. Those are actual ICs. And if you look closely enough, I don't know if I can get it on camera, you can, you can actually see the traces inside of the inside of the little ribbon connector okay so that's kind of, kind of like up but it addresses the pixels okay you see there in each one okay well anyway we're just going to go ahead and um look that up now this tv as long as you got two people or even one person if you get lucky i wouldn't recommend that you really don't need any suction cups but i'm so used to using them i'm going to use them anyway um you don't want to bend the screen gonna a little force not not gonna be pressing all hard you're gonna crack the screen just a little force on there close it okay it's in there this one too a little force close it that's it the screen should come right up no problem no problemo okay now that the screen is off okay we're gonna have to remove our diffuser screen this is the white screen Actually, there's more. There's usually more than one screen. There's a thick screen, and there may be like one to three other thin screens, and they have to be in the correct same order that you took them out. So don't when you take them out, try to just just try to grab them all at once. Keep them together. If you have to, put a little piece of tape around it. You know, I usually mark a dot on mine so I know which one is the front and goes on first, uh, like I did right over there in the corner. Uh, but yeah, make sure that you put those on the exact same way you took them off. And basically what this screen does is spread the light evenly that the LEDs are producing. Okay, so we have to take the bracket off first. Uh, there's actually four sides, four different brackets. I think the sides come off first. I'm just going to take my little prior to whatever you have and just go along the clips there. And just do like that all the way around uh, should slide right off I'm just trying to make sure this is the side comes off first or the bottom on top I thought it was a side maybe not okay no it's not bottom and top first because they have a little indentation in them and they go over the sides so I'm just gonna get one starter for you Just like that. Let's go to each one. Pop it. Pop it. And then so it's easier for you to remember when you're reassembling the TV how it goes back. I just mark a little red mark on the left bottom corner. And you can see I also have a white dot on the screen also. Okay. So we'll take the top and bottom off first and then we'll pull the sides off. And uh, you'll see what I'm talking about when I say you have to, when, when I say you have to take the top and bottom uh, portion uh, off, okay? First, and here you'll see what I mean when I say the the side pieces have a little indentation, okay? That's for the top, right here on the end. That's where the top piece and or the bottom uh, piece slides over, okay? So this, so when you put it back together, uh, you put the sides on first, okay? Left and right, okay? Just mark them if you need to. I'm pretty sure they're probably the same ones, but I just mark mine just for you know. Time consumption, right? Okay. We'll put put all those back together uh, in one place. Okay. I've already got my screen marked in the corner here. I've also got it marked on the middle frame, so I know which job goes where. And we'll try to. There's actually on this one. There's actually only one screen looks like there's one screen here and there's also that big thick plastic screen okay that actually really diffuses the light 
from the LEDs. I want to just keep these together, okay? Pull it off. And make sure these do not get dirty. Do not put them on the floor where it's dirt and people walking past. Now we have to remove our white paper here, okay? Uh, but as you can see, we have some screen holders, okay? And actually, all I'll do is turn that to the side, and then they'll come right up. These have been out before, so I know they're probably a little looser now, but that's pretty much all you have to do. If not, just take some, um, just flip the TV back over, go to the other side, and take some needle noses, and just kind of squeeze the uh, ends of these together and put and pull, push them in or push pull them up however you want to do it okay that is all now we'll remove our paper also mark my paper in the corner there also and the frame okay okay uh, as you can see this TV uses four strips okay look closely at the strips um, you can either check, um, put your meter right here on the actual leads, they are marked positive negative, or you can go to the side here, uh, that's positive, and then the other square trace is negative, okay? And I'm just going to go ahead and we'll just do all the strips and see. I'm going to turn these lights off so maybe you can see better. LEDs are lit up on these strips. Okay. strip okay and these have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven LEDs lit up we'll go to the second strip there are only two LEDs lit up on the second strip okay and we'll go to the third strip One LED lit up on the third strip, and the fourth strip is open. I'm getting the same reading, the 300 volts on my meter. I don't know if you can see that or not, but that is open. Okay, so that is what's causing the TV uh, the picture not to come on. So, if you're in, if you thought you're going to be able to replace the individual LEDs in here, you're going to be in for quite a job. Okay. So what I did do is I actually ordered brand new strips so just in case you get this TV right here this 46 inch Samsung and um, it's not coming on backlight problem just go ahead and order the entire strips the all the strips came with this so we got one two three four so there should be eight pieces just keep those strips come in two pieces a B or left and right whatever you want to call it and these are the strips. I'll leave the, the part number um, on the screen or in the description. But these are BN96 28769A and 28768A. Okay, that's one for the right side of the strip and the other one for this one. Okay. Now, the one thing I hate about these, replacing the entire strips, is pull these little white things out and lift the strip up. Okay, so we're gonna have to do that evidently. Uh, we may have to just go to this other side here. And just start pushing those out, squeezing those out with some needle noses. Okay, got all my new strips out. Uh, best thing to do on this set, just work them one strip at a time. 
so it won't be falling all over the place when you turn the TV around and stuff. So I'm going to start by just squeezing these four little white things out on the top strip here. Push them down, squeeze them, push them down. They should fall right out. I do that. This trip will probably be your right out anyway. As you can see, you come out, just unplug it. Probably want to do that first anyway. Just unplug it. Plug the plug. Okay, put those to the side. Those are bad. Keep your white pins, whatever you want to call them, pegs. Okay, for the new strip. I'm going to go ahead and unplug the rest of these. And they only go in one way. If you want to, you can get a marker and just mark along the side. You know, just mark along there if you want or whatever. But uh, as you see where the plug is, it only goes right here in this section. So I'm going to grit, grab a short side and the one with the pin in it, the plug in it, which is this one. Okay, these two plug together like so. Take our pegs. Okay, a few of my little pegs were kind of loose, so I did open it up. Um, another thing that you can do also when you go to put these, take these pegs out and reinstall your strips is if one of them keeps falling out or whatever, just get a piece of tape like this and just take that down make sure they're in place correctly okay because you don't want to because you, you if these pegs are loose what happens is when you stand the TV up which is the way that you're looking at it when this uh, when you're watching it right uh, they're gonna fall off okay and it's gonna you know even though papers on there it's still probably gonna fall down and you're gonna see some shadows of light so yeah so just do the all form the same way put the two strips together put it in there plug it back up tack it down that's it Okay, well also what I forgot to mention is there's two of these pegs under the power supply board, okay, to access, to get it out, and one over here under the main board. You can pull the board, just unscrew the board and just squeeze them out, put the board back on there. Or if you want, if you don't feel like doing all that, you can just take something sh sharp like this from the other side and just kind of pry it until it kind of, you're probably going to break it or damage it, but, you know, it's no big deal. Um, it's like I said, if it's loose in that one section, just cover it up with some some strong tape okay okay here's our moment of truth we've got all of our strips assembled in tacked down plugged in we'll plug it up should power right on as you can see the little lights flashing red and voila we are back in business no other problems, no problems with the power supply board. Everything seems to be lit. Okay, next thing is our paper. That's why I mark it. Okay. That's our little grooves on the side. Okay, make sure those are all in. Good, and then we'll get our screen support holders right here. Put those in, twist them, put them in, twist them, put them in, twist them. There's only four, okay? Then we'll put on our diffuser screens. As you can see, I got them together. Now the big one, the thick one, okay, that doesn't have any grooves and just make sure it's even pretty much and then our paper here okay we set I have it marked in red right there 
So I know this is, this is facing towards the front. Those go right into the grooves also. Just to let you know that you're good to go. And we'll get our diffuser brackets. Diffuser screen brackets or diffuser screen holders, whatever you want to call them. And just like I said, you have to put the ones on the side on first. Now make sure that these are absolutely flush and even when you put these on. Uh, because if they are not, when you're going to put the screen on, there's one side sticking up or budging. And then you're going to put that outer bezel over the screen, you're going to crack the screen. Okay? So put our sides on first. Okay, once that's done, once that's done, we'll put in our screen. Make sure it's in the right way. And when you put this in, make sure there are actually some little grooves right here. And am I in that one? Yeah. Actually, some little grooves right here. I don't know if you can see that. See this groove right here? Yeah. Make sure the screen is not up over that or anything. Otherwise, um, when you go, like I so said, you want to put the screen, the, the outer bezel on is going to pop on you. And there's some ones on each side. There's one right here in the corner also. This here, make sure everything is even on all four sides, just like right here, right here, and then check the other side, everything should be flush. Look at it again and again and again, feel around it, make sure nothing's bulging up, sticking out, or anything like that. It does feel funny right here for some reason, but I guess this is the way it's made, okay. And everything is even there. Okay, so far everything was good. Then we're going to unravel our driver boards from the screen and lock those back in place. Like I said, this one's pretty. This TV here is pretty easy. Not a lot, not a lot, not a lot of screws. Okay. And this will do, we'll just go some little things right here. We'll just put those up under there, one on the end there, push it up. Everything else should follow. Oops. We'll put it in the four grooves on top. Try to place it so once we do bend it down, it'll slide right up in there. That should do it. And then we'll put it in our, plug that back in also, unclip it, plug it back in. Okay, once that screen is on and our travel boards are locked in place, like I said, double check again, make sure your screen is flush. We'll put our outer bezel back on. It should actually just slide right on very easily. Just make sure it's flush also. And that's it. Okay. Make sure there's nothing up under the screen because we have to flip it around now. to our main board like so okay and if you want you can just double check the picture um, as a matter of fact I'm gonna do that I'm gonna put the outer back cover on next since this is so simple I'm gonna go ahead and push my speakers back on So you can show, I'll show you how they go, actually. Um, okay, so this one goes here. There's two little grooves here. So that just slide right on. Pretty much self-explanatory once you see it. And that's got the shorter plug, so that goes right to the main board. And the other one goes on the opposite side, same way. And 
I'm gonna plug this back in. Remember that we go in from the plug first. We have to go down that way. Then do it like that, okay? There we go. screws in there to hold it. Plug it in. We should be getting a picture or something on the screen. Can't display Samsung Smart TV something, right? There we go. And we have no cracks in the screen. A little title button. Okay. Okay, guys, as you can see, we are back in business. Okay, everything's working fine. Um, make sure that you guys uh, do subscribe uh, to my channel. Give me a thumbs up if you like the video. On my channel, uh, mostly all of my videos are TV prepared videos. Okay, so I don't do any like you know stereos and all that they're strictly television repair videos so make sure that you do subscribe to get notified when i come out with another video and guys i really appreciate appreciate you guys for watching and subscribing big dog out